Welcome back. Let's go get some reconnaissance photos. I want to take a minute to explain why this game is so much better. In the hub anyway. Well, one minute. I'm gonna talk to Murray. Buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is started by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. That ain't impossible. We got the Murray. Anyway, I want to take a minute to explain why I think this game's better hub-wise. Instead of going around collecting keys like in the first game, just so you can unlock something, you're actually, well, there you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Yep, that's the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Anyway, instead of just collecting keys, you're actually going around the hub, taking pictures, learning about the enemy, and, anyth and anything you can. Yeah, you don't get la yellow lasers in this game. They're always red. You hit him, you get hurt. In order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To do that, get near the table and press the circle button. Yep, and crawling is implemented now, too. Remember how I said no more one-hit kills? Especially not on those guys. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him. You stand no chance of head on against that guy with Sly. Ah, uh, goodbye. That's what the triangle button is used for. Triangle, square. Triangle, and then square when he gets down. Ha, ah, yes, I love this game. That's my kill. That is how I kill all enemies that get in my way. See, like him right here? He doesn't know what's coming. Sucker punch. Yeah, I like, but yeah, I like the idea of actually going around and learning about the enemy other than just unlocking things. Because this is what a true thief would do. This is what a true master thief would do. Crawling through air vents, everything, man. In order to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then, the square button to slam him and finish him off. That is my most used technique in the game. Because it's just so awesome. It's like instant kill, death, good night, but it, it alerts anyone around you, so be careful on that. To all. I think this may be the only time you see the yellow lasers in the game. So, yeah. Little crosses, that's your health. That's your health bar, not horseshoes. So much better. Okay. If you get in a fight with those rats, the sneak attack won't work. It's purely a stealth move. Pickpocket before it teaches me how. Please don't catch me until I pickpocket this guy's item. Yes, circle to pickpocket when you're behind guards that have shiny objects, that have shiny back pockets. This guy, no shiny back pockets, so instant kill. Oh, yeah, there are more. Okay, but once you're in a fight, you cannot pickpocket. So, if you're in a fight, and some guy has a shiny object, then you're just going to have to break it. I'm sorry, but it's game over, man, for the shiny object. Uh, uh, that 
That's where we need to get reconnaissance at. Okay. I'm loading. Let's get in here and let's check this out. Jackpot! The heart of Dimitri's operation. Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. Tap the R3 button. You know, click the right analog stick. I did. To bring up your binoculars. Money printing. It's already outfitted with a spy oh, that thing is. Slide. Use the right analog stick. There's Dimitri to himself. Hit it out on photo targets. Tap the R1 button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. Yeah. See, now it's telling you what to take a picture of, like that. The generator. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. Gonna have to take that out. There's, there, there they are. The clockwork tail feathers. It's genius. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. That's just wrong, man. Let's get a picture of the guy himself. That's our target. The Matrix. Professional lounge lizard and international fortune. That should do it, Sly. Let's get out of here. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. Let's see if we, let's get Manly to make a plan here. This is something else that is new. The plan. The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlight, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. Well, let's not do that then. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. We'll get it then. First, replace this bug painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Okay. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communication. That'll help. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We little, might learn something from the spying his action. Movement. That sounds good. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Then let's get to learning. Okay, this is now. This is the part where you can really choose whichever mission you want to do. You don't have to do it in that order. You can do it whatever you want. And okay, you can still not buy. Let's see, how much money do I have? Not enough for the smoke bomb. We're getting smoke bomb first. Nice you can bring up your you come by pressing the R3 button. You know the right analog stick that adjusts the camera. Click it to look through your binoculars. They'll be useful for finding the new job starts I've placed around town. Plus, they'll let you read the job title. Following Dimitri, or I'll do Bug Dimitri's office first. Doug Dimitri, whatever it's called. Let's see, what is it? Bug Dimitri's office. I, I'll do that one first. I like it a little bit better. Well, next time, we'll jump down and we'll bug his office. See you then.